These runners crossed the finish line at Stade de France, the emblematic sports arena of Saint-Saint-Denis. This working-class suburb to the northeast of Paris is set to welcome the global spotlight, as home to around 80% of the sites for the 2024 Paris Olympic Games. It could be good for Saint-Saint-Denis. For it to be seen in a better light by France and have a better image, that can only help. For sure, there will be some inconveniences for me, but hey, it's a blessing in disguise, I think. Construction at every turn, noise pollution and transport chaos. The daily landscape has been turned upside down by preparations for the event. But like the residents, local authorities prefer to focus on the positive effects that these transformations will have in the long term. It will make it easier to seek employment and to access tourist and cultural areas more easily, thanks to the Grand Paris Express. It opens doors to new districts that are more pleasant to live in, with a more relaxed rhythm. With high prices to attend certain events, Saint-Saint-Denis has announced plans to purchase 40,000 tickets to be redistributed to local residents in a bid to make them more accessible, notably for youths, seniors and people with disabilities. I think it's a great idea. Not everyone has the opportunity to attend the matches. It's a rare chance, especially as they're being held in our country. So I think it's wonderful to enable access to these events to everyone. The race against time continues for Seine-Saint-Denis to make the Paris Olympic Games a once-in-a-lifetime memorable and festive event.